Hi right, folks, welcome back, Delboy's Garage. Now, today was meant to be a day in the garage. But I come out here this morning, I thought, oh, I'll just clip a hedge. Oh, I'll just clip that hedge. Or maybe I'll mow the grass first before I get stuck in the garage. And in the end, five hours later, I ended up doing this lot. This really needed doing with all the rain we've had. I just got the petrol strimmer on this and just tore it all back to the ground. And uh, believe me, it ended up five hours and I am knackered. Look at that. The compost heap of doom. That is massive. I'll come back in a week and there'll be a flag on the top of that. Some other country would have discovered it. That is just massive. But it's good because all this was three foot high. All this was three foot high. This hedge thing, bush, was kind of up to the gunnels with this green stuff. It's this kind of weed stuff like just grows everywhere and I had to strim it to death blackberries raspberries even check these out look at that these are absolutely superb oh splendid now the figs are a bit all over the place don't really know what figs ripeness looks like Still hard as old nails. The apples up there, everyone seems to be manky. These are plums, as we discovered. They certainly ain't ready yet. Never eaten a green plum once. Uh, and any other fruit in the tree just looks a bit horrible. Strimming this to death. Getting all this cleared up is horrible. I hate gardening, I truly do. But you kind of get stuck in and get your sleeves rolled up. And when you're done, it does look the business. I do like a little bit of topiary sort of OCD. That's a little bit of fun. Kind of just making that pom-pom. Um, just this was round, I'm just turning it square or cubed. Uh, doing the same with that one and that one eventually. Uh, and that one. And that one's a little bit lopsided still. But my favorite that I'm the proudest dog is me, bay tree. Look at that. It grows in the middle of this other tree. It's got its own trunk, so it's a separate bay tree. That took a long time to get that completely rounded well, that shape. This other thingy jig grows round it. Don't know what that's all about. Don't know what it is. It smells nice when you cut it with the old shears. All this done with hand shears, so both shoulders are now falling off. That's a little bit of a mess, but it was, I think this is some sort of holly or laurel or one of you guys will probably tell me. Don't know. Um, that hedge was fun. Then he broke my bleeding neck falling off the ladder with that one. I had to go over to next door's garden and cut the other side, which is a ball ache. Can't cut that one because there's a bird's nest. And there's a blackbird nest up there and it's live. There's a bird in it. Kind of chop, chop, chop and you can hear... Start having a go at you. So I left that. I think the pond is a bit of a lost cause. Yeah. So there we are. Really, garden's looking the biz. Five hours work. Absolutely bleeding knackered. But I still got a bit of time to do something on a trailer project because I just want to get moving forward. So trailer project, as you know, here the other day, I had this old knackered table, got this at the dump, just picked it up free. Bloke said, yeah, take it away, mate, whatever. So those cross pieces there, these are kind of quite useful. Uh, they're a bit like that stuff, kind of mild steel chromed and box section. And I'm going to make those, what we got, one, two, three. so you've got two shorts and two longs. And what I'm hoping is that I can make the, the long ones on the sides of the trailer and the short ones go across the top. So I'll have kind of a box section frame around the top, which I can use to frame in the aluminium sheeting, which will make its body. So these, I've just got a harvest today. That's all I've really got time for. It's quite late in the day now. Some other stuff to do. Uh, early turn or early shift tomorrow. And as a few of you will know that follow that I've actually met, uh, we had a big massive bike um, event last weekend and uh, just been up to my eyes in it. So this is the first chance to get back on it. Not a lot, not brilliant video, just really a bit of harvesting. This tube is mild steel as well. Chromed-ish, well, chromed until the rust has got it. But that piece of tubing might come useful. I'll think of something to do with that four inch steel tube. 
there's always some sort of use for that. Uh, so there we go, that's all it is for today, just going to harvest those, strip all this apart, take the remainder up the dump later on and just keep those four spars, that one's kind of longer than that one but I can kind of extend it a bit longer with some of them, they'll weld on it's not a sort of strength part like a frame, it's just a kind of round the top of the trailer going along so we'll make it work, but there you go, that's all it is today, let's see what we'll do, stick around Got these threaded tubes on the end, which might come in handy for something. So I'm not going to cut them off just yet. Uh, I will do, I guess, if I need to. But I won't bother. Them. feet as well come in handy you never know always keep your scrap if you can oh that's a surprise now that is a long bolt that will definitely come in handy always handy just the point I want to make really with this um, check that out it's got a bit of thread on the end and a kind of welded nut on the other and it's what? That is about two foot long. You know, there's definitely going to be a use for that one day. Even if you tap, you know, like as a length of stud, I can tap that with a cutting tap to just make it into studding as I need it. Uh, but because it's currently not cut, I can make shoulders on that and then weld nuts on to make bolts of the length I presume. So I can make that into bolts and all sorts of things. Great fabricating stock, all that kind of thing. Just keep it safe, always useful. All right, two hands. Harvested. That's not loud at all. You ask yourself the question, if you went to buy some box section tubing or steel for any other purpose, what would it cost you? It's always worth yielding some old scrap if you can, even if you don't use it, chuck it back up the tip on another visit, it would be worth it. Have a scavenging eye, never know what you find or what you can do to use it. Well I do anyway. Excellent. Okay. Now, as you can see, I was a little bit disappointed. I was hoping these would be some way crossed over or interlocked, but they're not, they're four separate pieces welded around a middle bit. But, rather than chuck them out, I'm gonna just have a little think on a way I can use them. Um, for traditional reasons, I kinda want some scrap in the trailer. I wanna use scrap to build the trailer. I mean, this bit of four mil steel tubing, it's, what is that? one and a bit mil 
it's more than a mil. Uh, don't know, I have to measure it. But that's a thick old piece of steel tubing, and it's mild steel. That has potential, huge potential. Um, but I don't know for what yet. And the whole design of the trailer evolves as we go. Um, have a little think about what I can do with it. It is a rat trailer, so you want to do something unique and unusual. Uh, also thinking, just recently, looking at the exhaust on the Bandit of Doom. Um, got some problems under a year with the world starting to pop through. So, piece of steel tubing, kind of get involved, make a nice little side pipe. Don't know, although I do like the old stumpy Yoshi can. Um, so who knows, don't know. Um, that's that harvested anyway. I'm not going to do anything with it in a minute. I'm certainly not going to do any more today. It's getting off about half past five now. Like I said, I am tuckered. Plum tuckered out, boy. So, I need a bit of R&R. &R. I need to recover from five hours gardening. Nice cup of tea. And just one other quick thing. A few people have asked for a walk round of the old pile of crap known as damage. Just want to see what it looks like, so I'm just going to push it out so I give you a walk around and see where this old dog is at the minute. Alright, yeah, like I said, a couple of people requested a walk around the old damage pile um, at its current state, what it's like now. I keep doing things to it all the time, it's wrapped up on the old trailer project. Um, just a little look, see what it is at this moment. People looking in at videos that are perhaps a year old when I welded this thing up saying, Oh, it looks cool, but well, you need to see it now. These, it's just kind of commemorative, rat biking or survival biking's kind of about tradition and doing the stuff that has a bit of a meaning. These are two pistons from my, two of my two strokes years ago. That's from a Fizzy FS1E moped and that's from a Kawasaki AR80. Um, and I just had them in a toolbox, so I kind of lock wired them on, they look a bit cool. Um, someone asked the other day what this means. We'll work it out, dude. A hammer called Floyd. It's all there. Work it out. Come and see what you think. See who's clever enough to work out what a hammer called Floyd means. Tools that I carry because under there, right there, I have the tick over adjuster and I can't reach it because I'm daft and I put these in the place. Uh, I can't get my hand in there now to adjust the tick over when it's a cold morning, so I just use yon screwdriver. Also, with the swing arm of doom, this extra long thing, I did have it all out and stripped it and put it all back together. So what I like to do is keep the screwdriver so I can just flip that off when I need to and check that my mark hasn't come undone. Because that, that coming undone, you are definitely going to hospital for a short stay, possibly even a long one. Other things as well, like drop links, drop links at the bottom. When you've had them off, always nail varnish or tip X them and just keep an eye on them for a few weeks afterwards, make sure they didn't move. And there we are. That's what the old bandit known as damage looks like these days. There it is. Ah oh, yeah, just finally, that's my little tea house because everybody should have a tea house. And that is the last 762 round I ever fired when I was in the army. I just nicked it off the range, brought it home with me. So it just sits on a bolt, drilled through. Make of that what you like. So there you go, nothing impressive, I'm afraid. Uh, just a little bit of harvesting of some more free materials which I will be able to use as time goes on. Uh, it's always good to do that. I like to go up the dump every now and again and have a rummage around. There's always something. Not too much. You know, I don't want to end up looking like Stig of the Dump, spend all my time up there rummage around for free stuff. But now and again you spot something you think straight away. And great stuff. Office tables, office equipment in general always tends to have square steel tubing as its frame. It tends to be well built and it's good. You can harvest that stuff. You can use it. Bed frames are good. Somebody the other day, and I'm ever so sorry mate, I can't remember your username but somebody offered me very kindly uh, some bunk beds which have been taken apart and it's kind of two inch angle line so useful but it's about 200 miles away and I, if I had the time I'd go and get it uh, the guys just put it somewhere for safekeeping and if 
forget time and he's still got it there, then I'll go and get that. So it is good harvesting free stuff. It means that when you finish the trailer, this trailer so far has cost me the red oxide primer, the Hammerite red oxide primer cost me £15 and I will use all that. Um, the trailer was 40, so about 65 quid or even 55. Hey, maths, um, 55 quid plus, I don't know, probably another few bits and bobs. I haven't done anything else yet, so actually no. It's under £60 so far as it stands. Uh, this thing, this trailer hitchy thing, um, I could refurbish that, uh, but I won't because I've just found out that they are only £6.50 to buy new. So I'm going to buy a new one because that's quite an important thing. That's the thing that joins you to your trailer and stops the trailer joining the cars behind in a big tumbling mess. So I'm going to get a new one of those for what it's worth, which is very unlike me, but I'll do that because I think that's a wise thing to do. Um, that's it really for now. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all the comments and uh, I'm just going to have a little sit down and recuperate now. Five hours gardening, absolutely shattered. Need a cup of tea. Ride safe. I'll see you next time.